uh, get reframed? A little tall over here. <laughs> <clears throat> Ding dong, this chef is dead. <laughs> Mythical chef Josh has met his untimely demise. Let's talk about that. Hi, <laughs> ah, I'm Brett. I'm a big man. And I'm Link, and I'm slightly smaller. And you're watching Good Mythical Morning. That's morning with a U. <laughs> Today we've been given the task of eulogizing our former employee, Mythical Chef Josh. Now, we're all sad to hear about the untimely passing of Mythical Chef Josh. When I heard the news, I was doing goofy missionary sex with my wife. <laughs> I reached my arm over to the living room and grabbed my phone and saw a text that J Josh had died. <laughs> you, know, you know, when I had heard the news, I was saying... Now, you know, when I was in school, I played point guard. <laughs> All right, thank you for interrupting, but let's all remember we're here to talk about Josh. The long and short of it is that we always found mythical chef Josh absolutely terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> My shoulders have not relaxed in years. His eyes are cold and unfeeling and terrifying, like, mm -hmm. if, a, like if a husky was a landlord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> His arms were absolutely shredded, like barbacoa, or me on a guitar, apparently. <laughs> now, now, he's the closest thing we've ever seen to the Terminator, like he was sent here from the future to assassinate the vibe. <laughs> but just because we feared him doesn't mean we have to miss him. Kind of like Damien's resistance band, <laughs> which he's definitely not going to do anymore. <laughs> it's a shame, too, because he did them every day so quietly next to the loudest f***ing talkers in the world. <laughs> as they spoiled every episode of every show the day after it came out. I have heard... <laughs> have you guys seen Severance yet? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, now frankly, I don't know what we're gonna do without Mythical Chef Josh. Yeah, who's gonna help us run our food podcast? Everyone knows the best part about food is listening to someone talk about it with zero visual aid. <laughs> right, well, so, so let's just settle this right now, all right? Hot dog is a taco, taco's a type of pizza, pizza belongs in your glove compartment, and I am pissed off! Yeah. <laughs> Without Josh, who is gonna blankly stare at us like a cardboard cutout in front of an army recruitment table? <laughs> <laughs> you know, before he died, Mythical Chef Josh is the one who helped us pick all of our video titles by drawing things out of a fishbowl. Now we're gonna have to do that ourselves. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, let's see here. Yep. Okay, we've got, will it, Texas. Let's <laughs> go here. What's the best napkin? <laughs> <laughs> Taste testing horses. Ooh, I think that's legal. I think, that's I think legal. that might be legal. Now, let's see. We tried every cup. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Cheesecake Factory versus Cheesecake Factory. All right, fuck it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mythical Chef Trevor does our wives. <laughs> All right. Good luck getting Goofy Missionary right. <laughs> Little tip, big guy, it starts with across the bed instead of up and down. That's right. <laughs> All right. Most of my body is off of it. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Got a lot of diagonal in the fancy. Mm -hmm. Now, anyway, that's, uh, that's our film and slate for the next month. Yeah. Going forward, we'll be doing our best to replace Josh, and I think we've found the best candidate. So far, our best bet is a Doberman Pinscher with an apron. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Be sure to check into Good Mythical More where we'll be eating Mythical Chef Josh. <laughs> it's part of a new series we're kicking off called Will It Haunt Us? <laughs> be sure to join us next time this happens, which of course will be when Mythical Chef Trevor dies from being annoying. <laughs> 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 Just kidding.